Oh, this is lovely. It's like thistles. John Steck. And there's not a price on it. <gasps> Look at these. They're metal. It's all a metal art piece right here. Can't see the price. Let's see. Can we open it? Can we open it? Not, ooh, we can open that side. So we might have like a latch or something in here, maybe? They're moving stuff. Uh-oh. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? This is a ginormous piece. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, AKA Lily Works, and I am here at the Antiques Mall, the one that I have a giant booth at. It is a Sunday. I brought some things in my Hulkin bag back there to restock the booth. And let me show you what I brought to put in the booth. I'm curious to see what the antique store looks like as we have some new vendors coming in now. Grand opening is again like I think May 4th or May 1st. And uh, yeah, let's go see how it's all going. Okay, so there are people shopping my booth, so I'm just gonna show you guys here. I brought in this super cute, like 3D fawn pillow. You guys might have seen that in a recent video. There's that one. And then here is that giant hat that will be perfect for Easter. I, I can't get that out right, right now, but I wrapped these pieces. These right here are going to be feature pieces. I did price them up like just a little bit less than what they would be online. But this is called a Valkari. And these are some really nice like porcelain pieces. And they're interesting because they're matte and they're glossy. So this one is more common. So this one I priced at 60. And then these two I cannot find anywhere. I can't find them on Worth Point. I can't find them on anything. So they must be rare and they're larger. So I priced these at like 90. Let me show you what's in here. There's this boy here. He's 90. And yeah, he's very like long, like um, Yadro does the really long features as well. So he has some long features. And then there's a girl. Let's get her out. It's the girl. So these I priced up because these are gonna be more like feature pieces and we might have a 20% off sale or something, but these are pretty interesting and um, lovely. And so like this part right here is like a glossy and then the rest is like a matte. Okay, so I did bring in some like some more floral silk scarves. I brought in this guy. You saw him. He's gonna go in the woodland, <laughs> like the owl section and things. This ended up being a Matthew Adams mid-century dish. This is an Alaskan um, artist, and he does things like walruses and seals. Uh, there's 163 on the back. He is really really neat i love this the gold lines in there that kind of clued me in that this might be a mid-century piece and it was so there we go i figured out that that says matthew adams we have this you guys saw this one i believe this might be made out of like volcano ash but it is by stan right there i found it online stan langweight bird and berry plaque these were a little bit pricier so I did price it not as high as online like I think they were going for like 35 online oh we love this <laughs> little art glass tomato this one is going in the like fruit section and then I just got a lot of things that complement each other so like leaves and pottery and the and the pottery um, Butterbell, we love that so much. So here's the Butterbell. 
I have my little blanket in here that I knit a long time ago, like maybe 10 years ago I hand knit this. We keep it in our living room, but uh, now I'm using it to like cushion these pieces. I'm wearing my copper bracelet I got from Jen at French Teacher in VA. Um, what else? Oh, the little um, toothpick holder guy. Well, let's go see. I'm gonna put him in there right now. I think, I think there's nobody shopping in my booth. So this actually would look nice with this right here. But then, let's see, I have a bunch of like wood pieces here. So that might go in this section or maybe under. Um, can't really see him, but super cute. And I got all these like earrings. Looks like maybe a couple sold, maybe? Let me just see. Um, but these are real pressed flowers in here and then little tiny cute little um, barrettes put the tiles back there aren't they so so stinking adorable all right we have our fruit and things okay so let me see where i can put some of these things <laughs> okay so i'm gonna put my like tomato up here Here is the store, how it's going so far. Um, here's the hat. I'm gonna go hang this up by the other hat over here. Oh, one of my favorite pieces. Here's the chintz. Okay, ooh, we have a spot right there. So this would be perfect for Easter. Let's see if it would hang up there. <laughs> there we go. Um, oh, we have another spot over there. So yeah, we have a cow paper cowboy hat, like a Greek fisherman hat, tweed, um, what is it, newsboy's cap, and like a fedora, Switzerland alpine fedora. So we have like a whole, a whole lot going on here, but really fun. Okay, do we have any empty spots? This might be, no, I'm not sure if that's an empty spot or if someone just moved this one over. We have some bracelets here. Okay, so how my has this set up is I can look at only my dealer number, 110, and it will show me all my sales up to the date. So we're on up to the 16th. And so it looks like yesterday a Halloween brooch sold and it's funny because Katie just brought that in on Friday and then you know we have like stained glass but most of this is all jewelry, bunny pin we just brought in, Waterford crystal, spaghetti pottery ram, we have a salted pepper shaker but yeah jewelry 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 so much jewelry. Italy serving bowl, um, blue plant, wow, so many different <laughs> jewelry pieces. So we have bunny planter, the blue moon and stars dish, we know that one, the Mikasa, I'm not sure of, but this is what I'm up to for today, right here, so yay. All right, here's the feature table. It <laughs> looks like Maya has some fake croissants here, little bunnies. Milk glass, I actually, did I just sell a green version of this online? Let me see. No, nope, it's a little bit different. It's patterned on the inside. Um, I'm not sure if I sold it yet though. This looks like Pioneer Woman. Let me see if it is. No, Pier 1 pretty though. Okay. So moving on. What is this? Ooh, we have some horn, like dyed horn inlay right there. Mikasa, India made. How much do they have on this? 22 it looks like. Like a serving bowl. Okay. Oh, I just sold the carnival glass candy dish. That looks like this. This one's 30, we have some orange carnival, more carnival glass. I wonder if this one is a glower. 
greenish green satin bubble vase 38 all right oh look at how pretty this is 65 so i think someone is coming into the booth next to me and that is absolutely gorgeous 75 oh my word there's some cool stuff okay so it looks like they're moving in then we have norb's booth oh my gosh does he have that big flower situation here okay oh, oh look at that right there what is that that is like chinoiserie all day okay we need to see how much that is over there oh and look at that chair oh my gosh that tufted pink chair is so pretty Okay, I can't see the price. Okay, that is a problem. This is Candlewick, I believe. Is that what he says? Yep, Candlewick tray, 35. Okay, so it just says basket, 350. That is all it says. <laughs> so, it's not very helpful. We have this art glass piece. Oh, this is lovely. It's like thistles. John Steck. And there's not a price on it. <gasps> Look at these. They're metal. It's all a metal art piece right here. This one's a Chinese blue vase. Most likely modern. Cutie little frog here. And then I saw this opalescent ruffled edge right here. Can't see the price. Let's see. Can we open it? Can we open it? Not, ooh, we can open that side. So we might have like a latch or something in here, maybe? They're moving stuff. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Did I set off an alarm? Is it gonna is it gonna make a noise again? Was that an alarm? Oh, oh gosh. I guess we can't see what it says because it just like did like a cuckoo call at me. Alright. Calla lily vase, 85. Are you marked? I don't see a marking. I did sell that Waterford Crystal mark. Waterford Crystal is a little bit difficult to see sometimes, the, the Waterford etch. Okay, this is lovely. It is a specimen rock mountain. Mounted. That's lovely. Okay. Love that chair. Moving out of the way here. Oh my gosh, I don't want to stab myself on that thing right there. Okay, so back here is where another dealer is coming in. And it's a husband and wife who are making like outdoor sculptures. So it looks like they put in some faux green lawn in here. And then they make all these pieces here. Butterfly. Some of them are painted. This is an absolutely fantastic vintage orange, orange um, fireplace that is so retro and awesome. Oh, I love this stuff. Look at how cute. So a lot of this stuff is um, Maya and Kim's. Look at this Tonala pottery. Or is it Telvira? Tonala? Hand-painted mushroom. Oh my gosh, those are so sneaking adorable. I think Maya called her mom and her mom sent a bunch of pottery over here. Love this book setup. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And these are those books, you guys, that I just picked up at the bins where I took off the outside. So these books are at a dollar each here. Um, where it looks so pretty on the outside of the Reader's, Reader's Digest, the condensed books. That is so funny. Okay, here we go. We have glass. Ooh, we have the opalescent edge. Hobnail relish. 
And then look at those back there. So pretty, the three-dimensional. I just love the frames. I love the three-dimensional look. So pretty. And then, let's see. So we go from like fancy glass to like cowboy western <laughs> matchbox car. I like the egg. That's a pretty egg right there, the cloisonne. <gasps> Look at the little Millie Fiori paperweight right there. How much is that? $10? We might need that. We might need that. Is that Polish pottery back there? No, it looks metal, enameled metal. I think I'm gonna ask her to buy that. And then we have jewelry in here. Let's see, can we identify anything? Do, 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 do. That is the Tree of Life rosary. Ooh, look at this face right here. So pretty. Um, doorknob bracelets that Maya's mom made. Oh, there's her mom right there. Look at that ring right there. I love that. That hand-painted green ring. Oh, I love that so much. Okay, we're going to have to see that as well. How much is that? Hmm. Okay, moving along. That's a big Royal Hager piece. $53.95 Art Deco. Shriners. More beautiful art glass. Okay, so we still have my husband's chest set here. I priced it at $2.50. This is a Dan Mer Danbury mint set. Totally out of my element, but gorgeous. Okay. Oh, love these. What is this called? Let's see. Does it say fiberglass? Yes, fiberglass set. Probably 1960s. Does it say 55? Oh my gosh, 55 for the whole set. That is awesome. Okay, little brass kitty, brass whales. We have Sue's area here, hand-painted plate. This is gorgeous, like gorgeous. I love the dark blues. That's so pretty. There's another, another fiberglass plate. all the way up that looks like another Hager it's an art deco style vase up there oh look at the Tanala the Tanala bowl oh my gosh look at these those are so stinking adorable this, I think this is Katie's <gasps> look at this chip and dip art pottery and then Studio Art Pottery Signed Salt Glaze. This might be Germany. I think it might be Germany. What does it say? Honderbar. That means handmade in German. So that's a little German piece. Hmm. I think Katie and I have a lot of the same tastes because I would have picked up a lot of these things. Ooh, Mexican confetti drinking glass. This is a fused art glass. We have Chris's booth. He does a lot of the beer stuff, man cave. And then Katie also, ooh, Katie's putting in some rings, epoxy rings. These are masculine looking rings. Oh, and these are so cute, little inlaid. No, are they? Just hand painted maybe? Helen Peterson. Hmm, little collectibles. Monkey pod or teak wood. That's awesome. Oh, look at these mid-century modern. A Weinberg statue, really. I've sold this one, but in like green and a little bit smaller. Definitely not for $250. That, that one, the Ram $250. 
my mom literally has that um, silver tone one at home <laughs> right there looks very familiar so lovely and then look at more blue art pottery enameled I love that I've sold this piece before she also has oh, she also has one that looks just like my duck she has it priced at 40 the velvet pottery and then it says I glow look at this vintage Murano faceted submerso uranium base oh, that is fantastic and look at this art pottery oh my gosh I love this she doesn't have it priced <laughs> I'm gonna buy it <laughs> I don't think she has it priced I'm gonna get it from her booth and then we have the Latticino. Yeah, oh, we have very, very, very similar tastes here. Are these the, um, uh, oops, did the tag just fall off? Right here. Yeah, Pimpernel. I have some Pimpernel placements at home. She has them priced at 55. Put that right there. <laughs> okay. Lovely, okay. I'm gonna go see if I can buy some of these things. Okay, so here are the little pieces I'm getting. Um, this right here, you guys can see, it's little guilloche enamel with like little flowers. I'm not sure if those are transfer or hand painted. Looks like it's on copper though. I'm thinking 19. 30s. We have this piece. I'm suspecting it's um, Grapois because it's a Hobe piece right here. Hobe. Which we know is harder and harder to come by. And then, okay, so I got this little Millie Fiori paperweight. It is gorgeous. This is by Scotland and it says L. HS and we have the like Champlevé egg poison egg and this one was made in Mexico it's a an emerald green gorgeous adjustable ring and then the pottery mug yay all right so next day and I'm wearing my copper and enamel wrap ring I haven't seen anything like this. Maya said it's from Mexico, but I tried looking it up and I couldn't find anything. Super cool. But I dropped the kids off and James. It is a Monday and James worked all weekend. So he has off until two and then he's working until night. So I dropped them all off at McDonald's Playland so that the house stays remotely clean. And I am at, I think it's called St. Vincent de Paul. I think that's where I'm at. Um, and this place actually sells both hard goods and jewelry. So you'll be able to see the jewelry portion over on my Lily Works Jewels and Lots channel. And then this is going to show more of the hard goods. So let's go on in and see what we can find. So the first thing I noticed when I came into this thrift store is that there must be a specific vintage section right up here at the front. Oh, I love this little trinket tray. It caught my attention. It looks bohemian or Austrian and it was enamel on metal. So I thought that was super sweet. I love enamel on metal. And so I decided to grab this one for $3.99. I'm still learning more about hard goods and antique pieces, but some things just speak to me. Oh, I love that little mustache teacup right there. I have a couple of them in my booth. And for $7.99, that one's a little too pricey. But it definitely is a conversation piece. Super fun. Um, if it was like $2, I probably would have grabbed it. I noticed that a lot of these things I'm probably going to have to Google Lens because there's a lot of pieces that are totally out of my element. This is a sweet little tin that actually is really beautiful. Um, ooh. I see this little figurine. And it looks like it's possibly 
um, a Dresden lace piece. I'm going to have to do a little bit more research on this one, but do you see the ruffles that he has? That reminds me of Dresden lace. So I put that one in my cart and ooh, we have a blue hobnail creamer and maybe it's Fenton. It did have a little rough edge. So I left that one. We have some milk glass. Oh, 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 look, it's a like filigree gold tissue box, which is so awesome. I was just talking to Maya and she um, saw that I had the uh, garbage can outside um, filigree portion and she said she had the uh, Kleenex box um, holders and I was like oh that's so cool and here they are <laughs> so yeah oh I love this I kind of I don't think I grabbed it but I kind of want to go back and get it um, my mom actually bought the one that was like a basket in my booth it's an, it's a hand-painted piece from Italy porcelain and now here are a bunch of things that I don't know a lot about. I don't know a lot about ephemera. I don't know a lot about books. So I'm so thankful that Google Lens can teach me things. So it appears that, what is this? It said Italy on it. So I was like, oh, what could that be? Oh, look at this. This one turned out to be a little milk glass scented candy dish for only $3.99. I did grab that one. I think that could fit into a lot of different decor styles as well. It has the hobnail detail. But yeah, I'm really glad that we have <laughs> Google Lens now to really help teach us what things are. This is made in Japan. Um, it might be just a shallow, maybe like a ginkgo tree pot or something. This is interesting. It's a cigar box and on the front it says smoking kills. So yeah. Then we have a perpetual calendar and it actually goes from 1980s to 2030. So I wanted to see what this actually looked like. It looks so, it actually looks like it started in the 60s, but it says it's from the 80s to 2030. So few more years left for this perf um, perp per uh, perpetual calendar, but that's super fun. Never been used. And then look at this tray. I could not figure out or date this. There was a lot of pieces or a lot of pictures online that came up as like Georgian, hand-painted Georgian. I just couldn't say for sure. So I didn't grab that one. We have an Italian painted basket for $12.99. This is when I started thinking, I'm wondering if there is a color of the day because I'm noticing that there are different colors on these pieces of the, I'm sorry, colors of the tags. When I asked the lady, she said that they don't do color of the day. So I guess no discounts at this store whatsoever. Otherwise, if some of these pieces were half off, I probably would have grabbed them, but um, this one reminded me of Treasure Craft. It is not, but it reminded me of the Treasure Craft spoon rests. These are culinary Bosher editions. And we have these sweet. Oh, oh, look at this. It looks so retro. And it needs to be cleaned up, but probably as like a decor piece, there's a little bit of enamel loss right there, but I thought I would grab it. I think it looks so fun with those lines, very mid-century. And then I'm mostly unfamiliar with figurines. Oh, oh, look at this box. And we know that that is a Florentine box with like that very lightweight wood with the gold over it and it opens this way. It feels older, it, it's pretty nice. And um, I'm gonna show you guys in the next video that I actually find more Florentine in this store. So the next video is going to be a little bit longer um, of, a vi of the thrifting portion. These are interesting, look at these. Those are, I believe, for multiple flowers, like a two, tulip holder or something 
So I'm curious um, as to what those were and if those are valuable. These are some copper plates, you guys. I'm going to put up on the screen what I find about these. These were $1.99 each, and they are very old. So yeah, $1.99. I grabbed all four of them. I actually didn't know what they were, but they had a boho and very old feel, so I had a good feeling about them, and I still have to do research, but super interesting. Do you guys see anything that I might have missed? Like this, um, I think it's called a wedding candy dish. Like you take off the lid and it can go actually under the pedestal. It fits under the pedestal. And look at this. Oh, look at this. It's like a German raised. Oh, and it's a mustache cup. So this one was a little bit pricey, but I just love that look with that raised um, portion on the mug itself that one that looks very primitive and then we have all these books so we know that some vintage books can do really well and i thought i would look at them what is what is this it says Avon Super Shoe. Um, no idea what that is. Looks like they have a lot of Avon pieces here. The perfume that we saw earlier was actually mostly Avon. Oh, look at this. I'm like, oh, is this, is this uranium glass? We all know that glowing uranium glass is really hot right now. So I just did a Google lens because I didn't have my, um, black light with me but I google lensed it I think it was a hazel atlas didn't glow so I didn't end up getting it but I spy that very old looking copper pot back there you guys I got that copper pot um and then look at this right here look at this little guy when I look at him closer he actually says made in Italy so I was like 199 this is something that's cool maybe a hand carved letter opener. I love little tiny things like this, little vintage tiny things. I did Google Lens these. They kind of remind me of like maybe like a kid's French plate or something. <gasps> Look at this. I was like, what are you? But it's most likely from China. But I mean, sometimes when I find big pieces of glass vases in the thrift store, I'm always waiting to find my own Murano piece. I found a couple before, but they're pretty few and far between. This is a very 1960s retro mod hat box. And then I see more hobnail. What? And it is a hurricane lamp for $20. I was like, yes, all day, yes. Um, I know that these can go for a lot of money online. So that one was a definite yes for me. It can match that little candy candy jar. So cute. And I spy this little brush that actually looks like sterling silver on there. So I'm gonna test it. I'm grabbing this. It looks probably antique, honestly. Um, so I'm going to grab that for $1.99. This looks very old. It is intriguing me. It is called a citrus press. So you'd put the orange in the top and keep spinning it around. I'm sure this would be really cute in someone's vintage kitchen vignette look. Probably not for use, but I didn't grab that one. A little sweet little trinket box. And, ooh, I love these hats. I just love interesting hats like cloches and box hats and berets. So I did end up getting these two hats here. And 
I'm gonna have to <laughs> fix those flowers, I guess. And what is this wood thing? It looks like some of the transfer is worn off. I'm like, was this a garbage can? I don't even know. <laughs> and then look at this bowl. It says Roseville Pottery. We know that that is desirable. This is a ginormous eight quart mixing bowl. I could see somebody with their sourdough starters and, you know, with all their bread making skills that's really popular right now. Um, I'm seeing a lot of like German pieces, European pieces, but waiting for more things to sell from the booth that are like that before grabbing more. This is a Hager piece for only $9.99. So I grabbed that big statement Hager piece. So here are these two, I found out they're from Portugal, two like multi-stem vases, which were really cool. And looking at these, and I'm thinking most of them are Avon, just Avon ruby red glass. I'm not sure though. I'm not um, too familiar with it. This was an awesome set. I love this set right here. I think it was $24.99 for the sugar, creamer, and teapot. And these are all hand-painted Mexico pieces. So I thought that was really neat. But I'm going to tell you guys that my entire cart and then some, probably two carts full. <laughs> and so you guys need to make sure to stay tuned for the next video. It is going to be incredible. I'm also putting the jewelry portion on the jewelry channel and that was pretty awesome as well. So yeah, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and Make sure you like this video on the way out. And as always, make sure you're out there thrifting so you guys can live generously. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. A huge shout out to all the Patreon members for supporting both YouTube channels and our Lily Works Facebook community. Come on over to our new selling platform called district.net. We have two stores. One is called Lily Works Antiques and Collectibles. The other is Lily Works Jewels and Lots. Become a member. You can also become a seller. Also, if you're interested in anything you see from this video or reseller merge, go ahead and head over to lilyworksreseller.com where you can find different collections for sale. Also, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye!